Tonight, the TCU women's basketball team played their first game with three new walk-on players. So they had to have tryouts because the team was down so many players. In fact, they were forced to forfeit some games. Fox 4's Peyton Yeager and live now from Fort Worth with a look at how tonight's game went. Peyton. Heather, it's been an emotional week for these ladies, but tonight on the court, you could not even tell. So one of the new walk-ons is a hometown girl from Granbury, and she had a ton of the community come here to Fort Worth to support. After forfeiting two conference games, TCU women's basketball is back Tuesday evening with four new players in purple and white. And a plague of injuries led to the abrupt announcement. The Horned Frogs didn't have enough players for the games against Kansas State and Iowa State last week. The games were canceled. Thursday and Friday, the team held open tryouts for walk-ons, inviting any full-time student with high school basketball experience. One of them, freshman nursing student Ella Hamlin from Granbury. Her dad made the drive to Fort Worth Tuesday to watch his daughter suit up in her first collegiate game. You know, Ella's been playing basketball since she was in third grade, but she decided not to play in college because she wanted to come to TCU, uh, go into the nursing program and, and be a nurse. And so, you know, to have this opportunity, you know, she, uh, but I would say that she has not, even though she's decided not to play in college, she's been in the gym ever since last season and, uh, because she loves the game of basketball. Hamlin graduated from Granbury High School last year following a four-year varsity run on the basketball team where she was crowned offensive MVP of the district twice. Her former Lady Pirates teammates were also in attendance Tuesday along with her former coach, Alan Thorpe. She was a coach's dream. Uh, you get those players every now and then, she was one of them. Freshman Piper Davis and sophomore Micaiah Moore played on their varsity teams in high school, both state champs. Davis led her Idaho high school to a 5A state title. Moore is from Brownsboro, Texas, near Tyler. In 2022, she was awarded MVP at the championship game. Also new to the team, now TCU dual sports star Sarah Sylvester. The six foot three sophomore is on the TCU volleyball team and also played basketball at her high school in Michigan. Horned Frog fans cheered extra loud on Tuesday for the student athletes now able to take the court again. They've had a lot of injuries, had a lot of problems, but they're still a good team. They're a good bunch of girls, like to see them win. And the Lady Horn Frogs did win tonight. They beat UCF in a nail biter. They have 10 more games this season, all conference play in the Big 12. So a lot of big games ahead and a lot of fun experience. Stephen nice. Heather, back to you. All right. Great. Great resumes on the players just on campus doing right? other things and they can step right in. For sure. They're just walking around, yeah. walking around casual state <laughs> champs. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Athletes. Nice. Peyton, thank you.